It's been 15 years, I think. Must be about 15 now since we last saw Lara Croft on the big screen. Why is now the right time for a reboot? <sighs> I just felt there was elements to Tomb Raider, to a Lara Croft who's not Lara Croft when the film starts, and yeah. she slowly transitioned into becoming Lara Croft. Um, we felt that this was the time to kind of bring back the franchise. I got the rights from the game company back in 2010. I was shooting a film with Angelina Jolie at the time. Wow. So I was telling her that I was buying the rights to this to reboot. And I wanted to wait till the 2013 game came out to see the game yeah. that they had pitched me and then to see what elements we could take and make into a cinematic experience. Then getting the script right took a while because it's a very mm -hmm. tough um, structure when you, you're basically on an island for so long with nothing around, <laughs> you've got to create uh, um, incidents that happened, you've got to keep an audience engaged. And then obviously we went to the director and cast and, and, and we kind of really lucked out getting Alicia because it yeah. was like the Oscar winning Danish girl, <laughs> star from Danish girl. And, and she's playing Laura Croft. So I felt all the timing was right, you know, and, and then obviously having a female protagonist, which we didn't really plan on at the time, it was obviously a female playing the lead, that, you know, it just kind of, we lucked out with the timing of everything. And why was Alicia the natural kind of choice for, for Lara? We had a screenplay and we had a story that, as far as I, I was concerned, um, that needed somebody like her to bring her groundedness to it, to, mm -hmm. to make it, it real, to really, be accessible to to an audience that what she's doing is very believable becoming a Laura Croft slowly over time being a bike messenger in London yeah. a bike food delivery person in London and that transformation had to be believable and she was our first choice and we you know we got very lucky we actually pitched her agent the story without telling her what it was called first oh wow fantastic right. so she kind of signed on before really knowing it was Laura Croft no, she knew, obviously, oh. before signing on, but when I first pitched the story, I pitched the story of a young girl going in search of her father, finding him, connecting with him, and then he sacrifices himself. Uh, you don't think that that's too yeah. regular, right? I mean, it wouldn't have been my first guess. Right, right. So, you know, I wanted to be very careful about how we pitched this because we really wanted her. <laughs> Fantastic. And um, so I'm from Channel uh, 24. I'm from South Africa, right. which is where um, a large part of the movie was shot, I understand. Was. Uh, why was Cape Town um, a good choice uh, for, for the set? Well, we needed the kind of climate that Cape Town mm -hmm. could bring. Um, I've had a lot of success in South Africa. I made Blood Diamond down there, oh, and we shot parts of the Will Smith Alley movie um, down there. So it was fun to go back again and they have you guys have amazing crews down there and we, we were really really lucky with the locations and how we yeah. got we needed to find that island feel to it you know I mean I <laughs> it wasn't easy being in a forest in a hundred degree heat <laughs> you know shooting a lot of long hours mm, I can but imagine. Um, I loved it we, we just all had a great time down there fantastic and um, so what was the biggest challenge you faced producing this film um, I think it's it was getting the story right. I think, you know, I don't usually make these kind of pictures, yeah. but there was a darkness to this, there was a grittiness to it that I was really attracted to. And we knew, I certainly knew, and know the reputation video game films have. Mm -hmm. And the, the key for me was making a film for non-gamers, <laughs> right? People okay. that play Tomb Raider will go and see this movie, I hope. Absolutely. But people that don't play Tomb Raider should go and see this movie because it's not your typical video game film. It really has strong elements to it. It has dark elements to yeah. it. It has emotion to it. And it's a strong story that I think stands up on its own. And that was the key for me. I don't think I would have moved forward if it didn't have those elements. Yeah, absolutely. Um, thank you so much for your time. Thank I really you. appreciate it. No worries. Thank you.